So I'm in the studio. I was going to give you a tour. No, I'm not finished yet, but I'm getting there. I'm going to set this camera down. Mm. Nope, not finished yet, but I'm working on it. Still have a long way to go, but I can see the light. <laughs> I can see the light. I can see the floor. I can see the shelves, but I still have a lot of cleaning to do on the shelves, um, which you'll see when I get to the back, you'll see it's a counter that is just overflowing with junk. And then I have a shelf overhead that I need to organize and get it set up. And it, up there will probably just be games and box toys, maybe. And then I have it set up kind of in zones, which you'll see. Um, right now, I'm sitting in kind of my craft, little craft corner. And I'm going to show you my homemade desk I made. I'm pleased with it. It's okay. And then shelves and um bins and i have started labeling some of them and hopefully i'll get all of that done what else what else do i have to get done uh next to the crafts is dolls and i need to get those finished and then it's more dolls and then i'm going to set up um one little zone where i'll be taking my pictures and next to that will be shipping and then next to that, um, I'm going to try to do two of the shelves I'm going to kind of save to put um, like orders on and stuff. And then well, probably that whole bookshelf, honestly. And then next to that is where I want to have all, some books, not all the books. And then you'll see a little bit more craft stuff that because I didn't want to move it. And then you'll see some of the inventory things that will be for sale on upcoming um, on upcoming um, shows. So, what else? It's a yucky rainy day today, so I, I couldn't go out this morning. But today I had thought as far as sale items, I was going to uh, have two boxes that I was going to look through. And um, then as I'm looking through those boxes, and if you see something you would like for me to, hey, Danielle, how are you? Um, like I said, I'm going to be looking through boxes. And when I'm looking through the boxes, I'll make, you know, if you want that item, I'll put a price on that item. So let's ready get started with the tour. You ready? Okay. How do I turn this camera around? I have the worst problem with that. Uh, I'm scared to touch anything because I don't want to like mess it up. But anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to step outside and I'll start outside kind of showing you what uh, my she shed looks like from the outside. Flowers and stuff aren't blooming yet, but it's just a cute little building about so big. And this little picket fence you see here. Hey, Warren, all of this picket fence, those was pallets. And what I did was to cut the little points and put them together to make a picket fence. And then right outside of the picket fence, I have a little pond right there. It does have some fish in it, but it's cold, so they don't want to come up. Then I have a little garden over there to the side. And then when you walk in, okay. You come in and this is the front of it okay so right here in this little corner here right here I built this little desk area and I made it a little bit high so when I'm sitting there sewing I don't have to bend my neck or anything and I put some little shelves right there so I have like three little shelves that'll have extra sewing stuff in it I haven't decided where I'm going to put this yet. And then I have one sewing machine down there. It's an embroidery machine that I don't use that much. And then it's more shelves up under there that have supplies in it to more. And then this whole wall here, all of this 
and all of that up there, those are all craft supplies. <laughs> yeah, so, and I did start kind of labeling, like you can see everything in here should be jewelry. This box over here is jewelry. That's just a doll hanging up right here. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with her. And then up here, I haven't like really sorted through all of these boxes up here. It's what, eight boxes? It's all craft supplies and lace and stuff. I'm trying to use like, hey, how are you, Debbie? I'm trying to use every space in the studio, okay? Then right here, I've hung up like my vintage threads because I really like the wooden spools of thread and stuff. So I had picked these up at the Dollar Tree. And they're just little balls and I just hung them with some fishing line. And then all the way across the, um, this, this little shop is 12 by 12. And if you see up there, all the way across there on that shelf, eventually I want to have all of my box games and toys and stuff up there. So that's what I'm headed to there. And then these little colorful bins, I keep my glue stick, pencils, stuff like that in. Just whatever, just a little bit of everything. Okay, so then I'm still in the front. On the opposite side of my craft area will be the area where I keep my stuff that's going to be for sale. This first shelf here, which I'll go over there close in a minute. And then also, I didn't want to spend any money, okay, when I was decorating out here. So what I did was I had tons of these right here, these crates. Well, they're not crates. They're the little snap-together thingies. So I built this little contractions here and I have boxes like all of these boxes are labeled and you'll see when we get to the other side of stuff I've already listed online and the top this box here, which you'll see in a minute and this box here, we're going to go through today and those will be the items for sale. And again, like I said, I was trying to use every, you know, every bit of space. So I'm going to, I've already started. I took nylon wire ties and I put my thread spool holders on here. So this way I can display all of my thread, know where it's at, know what colors. Then I want to get another piece of uh, pegboard and put here. And that way I can hold more stuff. Then I have a peg here and it has like scissors and I haven't finished that yet. Okay, so then we go down a little further. Now I'm going to show you this side over here first. Let's go to this side over here. Okay, so like I said, I have this shelf, this one, and this one is all craft stuff. Then the next section is my dolls. Okay, and it's junky, so don't judge me, okay? And, of course, it goes all the way to the ceiling, the shelves. And I tried to use white shelves so it would be nice and bright in here. Because right now, I don't have any additional light on except for the light that, um, you know, in the ceiling. But I, Because I didn't bring any of my ring lights or anything out. So up here will be like all dolls. I probably will separate them according. Like up here will probably be vintage dolls. And then on this little tiny ledge part where this shelf is not as wide as this one, I'll probably put like small dolls and stuff there. And then on the very corner of this uh, wide shelf, I have my 18 inch dolls. And if you can see that, yeah, those are like 18 inch dolls. And this is just a holy mess. <laughs> That's just a holy mess. Then there's more mess, 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 but it's organized mess. What I mean by that is I was unpacking my boxes versus just like whatever. I just stuffed the stuff on the shelf and now I'm going to make room. And then down below, this shelf is four feet wide. Then I have like this bin here. Try to dress it up with a little bit of tape. Um, right here, this is like small dolls and toys. Same thing in this one over here. And then down here, I have two boxes full of small toys and stuff like, you know, this kind of stuff like this. So I have two of those that I need to organize, okay? Oh, and at the bottom of the craft shelf, 
since I'm down low. Um, I have a serger there, another box with like interfacings and stuff. Those are all paper crafts down all the way down there. Okay, so that's that. And then when you continue on around, I built another little shelf unit here. Right there. And this is more dolls. And this bottom shelf will be probably all superheroes and some box dolls. Then right here, let me move her. Right on that shelf, what you can see is nothing but cabbage patches. And then there's more dolls and more dolls. And to store and use every drop, good morning. And to store every drop of my space to use it on the under part of the loft. You see all these cups? Cups, cups, cups. I put cup hooks all the way along there. And under this one here. So I'm going to step back for you to see how many cups that is. So all of those are nothing but cups, okay? Love me some cups. And they sell pretty decent on eBay, on Etsy. Okay, now this is the messy part. Right here, all of that, okay? This is like a 12-foot wide um, counter that was built in. And from here, right here to right here, I'm going to, I have some backdrops. So I'm going to put multiple backdrops up where I can roll them up and have different backdrops for different occasions. And I'll be able to take my pictures there. I have one light up under here. You can, I don't know why it's flickering. Anyway, I have a light up under there, and then I have two other lights that will hook on to the sides of these that'll shine more light there. Okay, so then, okay, so this will stop like here, and then I'll have another four feet over here. Each one of this counter is going to be divided into like four feet um, sections. This will be my shipping area right here where all this junk is. And it's a peg, it is a pegboard back through there. So I'll be able to hang my tape, labels. I'll put, um, I have some of those little boxes that you hook on the pegboards. Hey, Marcy, I'm just giving a tour of my um, studio, she shed. So that's what will be all over here. And again, those cups are continuing all the way again. Oh, I do have my name up there, right there. Can you see Padoodles? And then when you turn this corner, we have another shelf unit here. Right now, I have books on this. Well, some books and some junk. <laughs> and um, this is where I'm going to add, like, some pull-out boxes. And I'll, like, store my orders where I'm waiting to ship. And that way, the orders will be right here. The shipping will be right there. So it'll be easy. And I do have a stool that I'll be able to set at. Okay, and then up under this counter area, I'm going to step back up under that tablecloth there, which I did buy two more tablecloths so it'll cover that whole entire area. Up under there is where I store all of my fabric. I have these bins. This and hold it all the way up. You see that? I just have those like. Well, these are Walmart bins. Actually, they were on sale one day, but they're the 50-quart uh, storage bin. So I have like about 12 of those full of fabric. And I ran out of space a little bit. So I put these uh, drawers that I'm able to pull out when I need them. Need extra fabric or fabric that's not in any of those. So I can pull these out and the fabric is right in there. Okay, so that's that area. Let's push that back down. Then this area right here, right now I have a sewing machine and some polyfill and stuff there. And if you can see that, yeah. I lost it. On Monday's craft sale, I will be opening up this box right here. 
is it frozen? Okay, just came back. Okay. And um, so I will be opening up that one and it's stamps and die cuts and so forth in there. Now, this whole corner here, all of that up in this corner is where my collectibles and things for my sale. So let's come up to here. This is my little apron. I don't hardly wear it, but if I go to craft shows or something. Oh, and this right here. I don't know if you can see this right here. These were two closet doors and I created like a shelf and made a, two shelves between the two doors. And right here, I keep my die cutting stuff. Um, up there is more stuff to go in the, with the die cutting stuff up in those baskets. And that's my daughter when she was little. And then when you come all the way up in this corner, Lots and lots of stuff that will be for sale, either here or mainly, mainly here. And this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves there. And then it's seven shelves next to it. I'm trying to use like every single space, okay? Every space. And up there, I this really needs to go over on the other side, these crafts here. But I don't feel like moving that. It's too heavy. And it's taking off too much stuff. Yeah, so that's that. And then inside of these bins here, on the other side of those shelves, I have these wire um, cubes that you snap together. And if you notice, they're labeled like, yeah, you can see right there, like, so this says G4. So I know that's like all glass. And that one says G3. And all of that stuff is listed online. And then here, losing a signal. Okay, so it'll be back and okay, it's back now. And then that's just another picture of my other daughter. This is Alyssa, the one that you've seen before. That's her college picture. And then on top of the shelves, what I did on top of these bins, I keep calling them bins. They're like cubes. I put a shelf that I, I need to finish painting this. This is a picture of my husband and I a long time ago, long, long, long time ago, when I would fix my hair and so forth. <laughs> hey, Steph. Yes, yes, this is my she shed. So that's like the whole view. I'm going to turn real slow and give you a 360 view. I'm going to start up in the craft corner. That's my little homemade desk right there with little shelves up under the sewing machine. And then I did, a. I like the top. I padded the top so I can use it as an ironing board as well or pin cushion. And then that's all crafts from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. And then another shelf, the same thing from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. And all of that's crafts. <laughs> and then all of this here is my doll stuff, which I'm still organizing all the way up again. And that corner is going to be dolls and action figures and so forth, but you can see that. And up under there, I'm going to take these cubes. And when I talk about cubes, it's these things right here. You get them at like Walmart, Target, Amazon, and they snap together with these things. They're really, really easy. And you can make any size you want. And what I'm going to do in the center of the floor, I have a pink rug, but all the center right now is open. I'm going to build up one more unit and I'm going to make it probably three cubes high and I'm going to put wheels on those ones. And that way, when I'm having my sales, all of the items for the sale will be on those bins or cubes and I'll pull those out and use them as for the sale. Okay. Then there's cabbage patches and more cabbage patches all over there. 
Hold that back some. Then just dolls, dolls, dolls. Junk, junk, junk. That will become my photography section right there. This will be my shipping area, this four feet. And more storage there when I once I get that all cleaned out again. Okay. And then up on. I don't know why she would call me. She know I'm live every Saturday at 12 o'clock. And that's a painting. Y'all seen that painting before that I painted. And that's another one up under there. Um, hey, Donna, how are you? I'm just giving a quick tour. And this is all my fabrics and stuff up under there. So that is my studio. Still working, but I said I was going to have the sale out here today. So I'm having the sale out here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out a box and we're going to go through. I guess I don't want that there with my computer blocking it. We're going to take out a box and we're going to go through the box of stuff. And I will tell you a price and you can let me know if it's something you are interested in. Thank you, Sharon. Welcome. Okay, so let's pull out the first box of stuff. Like I said, I don't know exactly, exactly what's in these boxes, but we're going to go through them together and that'll be less stuff I need to find a space for. Okay, so I'm, let me get a box. Get this first box right here. Uh, pull that out. It's just plastic falling. I know one of the boxes just had the salt and pepper shakers left from my sale the other day that I had. Okay, so now that's there. Let me get my stool so I can sit down. Mm. Okay, so now I got my stool. Hopefully it's not too high. Nope. Okay, y'all ready? Let's see what's in here. This is just like a banner here. It says, love grows here. These are three-dimensional little uh, felt roses on there. Real pretty colors. And this measures about, I uh, don't have a ruler close by, but these are 13. I would say this is probably about 15 by 12, 12 by 15. And it just says love grows here. And this would be, would you move thing here? This here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, this would be $5 number one. Five dollars, number one. For love grows here. It has a felt bag. It has the little rod running through, and a little ribbon to hold it up like a banner. Cause I just don't have wall space out here, so I love to keep stuff like this, but I don't have any place to put it. So that was number one for five dollars. Okay, so now let's see what else we have here. But you know what? I can hang that right there until I get my uh, what's your name put up. Huh. I found a place for it, y'all. Okay, what is this? My neighbor just, this stuff in this box my neighbor just brought over yesterday. This is a little rabbit pillow. a little rabbit pillow and I do see a little hole on the back of that right there can you see that my, I'm, I'm not used to doing it with my phone right there it's a little hole and this rabbit is about 12 inches tall and this would be number two for three dollars number two for three dollars the back is cotton and the front is kind of a tapestry so that would be number two, rabbit. And three dollars, number two. Three dollars for the rabbit. And I see Sharon. Thank you. Okay. And see, once I get all organized, y'all, I will have these little bags. I got a bunch of them. Those little 
blue bin things like you see back there. And I'll be able to put orders right in there, separate it out. Hey, Monica, welcome. Okay, we have another rabbit. Let's do this one here. No, I'll do this one. Okay, these are going to be a choice. These rabbits here, they have felted bottoms and they're by Fitz and Floyd, 1984. So you'll have this cute little rabbit here. Okay, and he has like little gray and little tan spots on him. So it'll be a choice between this one and let me show you his friend. And this one. I don't know. I don't know if my internet is fading in and out. No, it's a strong signal. And these rabbits here, these are number th uh, three. They're $8 each, but if you would like the pair, the pair would be $15. And they're by Fitz and Floyd. 1984 and that's number three rabbits yeah so they're cute they would be nice for um you look they even got toenail polish on <laughs> okay so that's those two next we have a lot of rabbits, okay, y'all? See, it keeps popping up that attention is required. And I think that's what's making it go out. Okay, we have these two little rabbits, and these will be a set. You have this little rabbit here made um, out of a block. His body is a block. And, if, and the uh, body is just like a, well, the limbs are just green and uh, green calico fabric, little um, muslin ears. And then you have this cutie right here, this little cute one here. And this one's holding a spool of thread. It is a vintage spool of thread. It is a vintage spool of Colton Clark thread. And you'll get both of these for $3, number four. Cough Rabbit. $3, number four, and you'll get both of these ones. This cute one here, and this one, one of them, where did I see it at? I seen a signature on one of these items. Hmm, maybe it was on something else I brung out here. I don't know. So that was $3, number four. And one more rabbit. No, we got a couple more rabbits, actually. You're not rabbits, mom. I don't know why it's doing that. That I keep getting an error message on my laptop. This is by Fitz and Floyd as well. And it holds your napkins or you could put your letters in it, anything you want. He has a little carrot in his mouth. And this is a glazed white porcelain. And this is number five. Number five, and it's four dollars. Rabbit napkin holder, and this is four dollars. Number five, okay. Now, okay, something other than a rabbit is coming up. If you want to make your wine bottle into a candle, look at this. You take this cork-like thing, but it's really uh, ceramic, and you stick that down in your wine bottle, and then there is the stem here. It fits most wine bottles, and it burns oil lamp, lamp oil, so you would fill your wine bottle up with um, the oil, and then you would light the wick. And I'll show you up close how that looks. And it's called Wine Light. And this is $2, number six. $2, number six for the Wine Light. 
wine light, $2, number six. So this would be cute though for uh, you having to want to be out on your patio at night or having dinner and you have a pretty wine bottle you kept. This would be really pretty to put that in. It says, uh, preserve a special memory. All you need is a flame to turn your favorite wine bottle into a beautiful, long-lasting wine light. Enjoy years of elegant, graceful illumination. So that was $2, number six. Okay, then we have, this is a hand-blown glass vase. And it is on like a stick pin, kind of, so you can wear it. So if you have like a fresh rose or something, you want a little tiny bit of water in, you can use it with that. And it's called a posy pin. And this posy pin is number seven for $2 for the posy pin. Number seven, $2 for that. Okay, let's see what this is now. Now, these do need to be washed, but it's some cute little sachet bags or little drawstring bags. It has Battenberg lace on the front. And they just pull like so forth. And this will be for two bags. Okay, open back up now. So you'll get this one here. And this one has an eyelet rose on it. And like I said, these do need to be washed. And you'll get both of these, number eight, for $2. <laughs> I have worn a Battenberg lace blouse that I wear a lot during the um, in the summer months. And that's $2, number eight. Okay, let's see. Another rabbit. This is a cute one. This is a rabbit planter. And look, at this almost looks like a clover. So this would be really good if you decorate for St. Patrick's Day. And there's the front of it. Sits on this little tray. And this was, what did it say on the bottom? National White Clay. It's handcrafted. Can see that and this is the opening and this little rabbit here it's not a spot no just a little bump in the glaze this little rabbit is number nine number nine and it's eight dollars rabbit planter okay so that's number nine for eight dollars Okay, let's see what else is on this little tray here. I have two of these. I don't know if they're the same or not. Let's see. And these are little sachet bags. Hey, Dana Grace. No, they're different. So this will be a choice. This is bag number one, and it has a zipper on the back. So you would open this zipper up, and you could either put sachet in it, or there's a little pillow. So you could put some type of natural oil on the pillow and that way and hang it on your doorknob or in your closet. Very, It would give a very nice scent throughout your closet or in your room when you walk in. And they are made of cotton and linen. Struggling to get this pillow back down in here. So this is choice one, and it's $2. These are number 10. So you can put down 10-1 or 10-2 or both. Or... So this is a $2 one here. And this one is very clean. This one here, just from being stored, I believe. But I love the design, all the little um, embroidery on there. And you can see right there. I think you can see that little spot on there, but I'm quite sure that's something to wash off because these would be machine washable. And that's number two and they're ten, uh, $2 each, number two for the little sachet pillows. Yeah, these are really cute. 
Okay, Sharon. So you want this one here. Is that what I'm seeing? No, for some reason that's not moving. Huh. huh. I don't know what's going on today. I do have a booster out here, which I need to connect to my current Wi-Fi and see if that'll help next time. Okay, then now this is a really... Here is what I seen with a signature on it. I knew I seen something with a signature. This little rabbit here. This is Jill. And she's handmade by Judy Barker. Aggie number August 21st. No, August 1991. And this is number 196. I knew I had seen something with a signature. And this little rabbit here is $2, number 11. $2, number 11. Okay. So this is just a little handmade rabbit. And next item is going to be a set. So if you do traveling. Okay, this first you're going to get this little cosmetic bag here. Got cute. This is kind of a piquet kind of fabric. Has cute embroidery on it. And this is by Dome. Designed by... Jocelyn, M-E-D-E-I-R-O-S, maybe. Maybe someone is familiar with that. So you'll get this little cosmetic bag here. And it is lined. It sounds like I haven't opened it. Yeah, it's lined with, um, like, plastic. There's a little label dome is right in there as well. So you get that piece. Then you get this bag here. And it has that same little embroidered trim on the front of it. And this is about a eight, six by eight bag probably. And it has a zipper. And it's lined as well with some waterproof fabric. And the last piece of this set is these nice house shoes. Have cute little eyelet lace on it. And these items are new. And these shoes are a size size large. It just says the size large. So I guess it's like an eight, nine or so. Um, all three pieces of these, this is number 12 for $15. Number 12, 15. It's a little travel set. So you'll get the shoes. You'll get a cosmetic bag and another little bag. So you'll get all three pieces. It's by Dome. Really pretty embroidery on that. Okay, so that was box number one. Let me get the other box. And I think those are mainly salt and pepper shakers coming up. I do see one rabbit on top that I have chipped. Oh, okay. Let's put that back away, these ones here. And then I'm going to get this next box out. Okay, set that down carefully. And let's get this box out and see what's in here. I know a lot of these are salt and pepper shakers. Left from a previous sale that I had not put away when we came back home. Okay. Let's 
sit back down here. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can read the back of this before I hold this all the way up. Handcrafted in Italy. I can read that. It's a little metal frame with some pictures inside. Let's see if I can put that right. I need to go back to using my iPad because this is just not. <laughs> and the back of it says handcrafted in Italy. And it says Cheswick on it for Cresswick, Pennsylvania. I don't know if you're going to be able to really see that. And this is about probably five by three. Hey, princess. <laughs> I'm in my studio. I, I've been working. I have it almost clean. And this little frame here is $5, number 13. It's got cute little florals on it. That really, really cute. So that, that was number 13. And then... Now, y'all, this is cute. If you like rabbits, you got to like rabbits. Look at that, that beautiful blue. And this is a little trinket dish. You could put almost anything on it, or you could put wash it good, make it a little butter dish. Um, it says basic porcelain by home. What does that say on that? I can Home, home essentials be, and beyond. And this is probably about five by seven as well. And this cute little rabbit trinket dish is $4, number 14. $4, number 14. Rabbit trinket dish yeah four dollars number 14. i mean they did some nice painting on that that's so pretty okay so we got that hey how you doing and i see vicky for number 14 thank you hey anitra how are you hey vicky okay so we got that and these next uh tiles are hand painted and they're little um, trivets, or you could actually hang them on the wall. And this is about a six by six. And those look like little violets, little violets painted on them. And this is by Handcrafted Decorated Ceramics by Screencraft. And it has a cork back. But it also has this little hole here, so you could hang it. And this tile... This is the one with the violets. It's number 15 for $3. Number 15 for $3. I'll just put the word violets there. So we have that one. Then we have one with some pink dogwoods on it. Yeah, have pink. again i don't know it keeps telling me that norton's keeps saying that something i need a vpn or something it keeps popping up and this one is painted by phyllis howard and this one is three dollars number 16 and these are dogwoods three dollars and it does have the cork back the signatures there and all of that that one's number 16 and then we have one more of those and i see donna for that one thank you donna then this last one this one is washington irving is best remembered for his character of rip van winkle and this is Sleepy Hollow Restorations. And this one came from the Bethlehem Art Gallery in Newburgh, New York. 
and it's the same size. And Washington, okay, and that's him sitting at his desk. His name is Washington Irving. Or is it Irving? Yeah, Washington Irving. And this one is $3, number 17 for Washington Irving. And let me show you the back of that one. And this one is a little different at the top. That was number 17 for Vicky. Okay. Oh, okay. So Vicky got number 16 before Donna. Okay. Vicky. And then this one here, number 17, goes to Vicky. Okay. Then the last, I think it's the last one, is this nice, ooh, this is a nice one here. It's a very heavy weight. It's all ceramic. And it's by Frank, uh, whoever, let me see if you can read that. Frank, Frank Aroma, Frank Aroma or something. And then it says 3TR. It has a little felt on the bottom of each one of the little feet. Yes. Okay. I got it. Thank you, Anitra. And this one here is $5, number 18. $5, number 18. For the green trivet. This one is really nice. All that intricate work there. Yeah. So that one is $5. Okay, so we've got to lay that down. We've got to put that down someplace. I see Donna for that one, right? Yes, Donna. Okay. So let's set that down. Now, the next one we have, thank you. This is a butter dish, y'all, but I actually chipped this when I was moving it right there on the little... See right there, that little chip. But this is really a pretty butter dish. And the little rabbit, his head looks like a lemon to me. And this is made in Italy, I believe. Yes. It's made in Italy. Really a nice, though, little butter dish. And like I said, it is a little chip on that. Where is it? Let me show it to you up close. See that little chip right there. And I'll touch it up with some paint, but it is there. I just want you to be aware of that. And this is number 20, number 19, butter dish. And this is $5. $5 for the butter dish for the lemon head rabbit. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one. So now we're going to have some salt and pepper shakers. And they're going to be a reduced price today. This is a pair of salt and pepper shakers. And they were hand painted in Mexico, right? Yes. And I'll show you the bottom of them. Okay, so that says pepper. It says hand painted and it is an M. But on this one, you'll see it's hand painted in Mexico. It says on that little sticker. And this is the salt. And these are like about maybe two inches high and maybe three inches in diameter. And these little Mexican salt and pepper shakers is number 20 for $4. Salt and pepper, Mexico. Okay. <laughs> and I see princes for those. Thank you. Okay, so that's that set. What is this one? Oh, this is a cute one right here, y'all. I got one of these that I kept for myself. Is that the bottom? Yes. I found these and also they had a matching uh, night light and I kept the night light too, but it's a salt and pepper shaker. 
and this is the bottom of the salt or pepper, whichever you like. There's the holes up there. And then on the cup and saucer, it's the holes there in the middle. And you can see in my booth, I have these for $9. And today I'll do these for $5. Okay, Anitra. So it'll be $5, number 21. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so now let's set that over here. Then I have some cute little kitty cat ones. Look at those. Very soft and dainty looking little kitty cats. This one is like laying down and this one is setting up. There's no, well, there is marks on the bottom. It says made in Taiwan, 1990. Is there a chip on the ear of this? No. Okay, and this little set today will be $5, number 22. I'm basically putting the prices in half of what I normally um, charge for, you know, these salt and pepper shakers. So this is $5, number 22 for these cute kitty salt and pepper shakers. And what is this one? Okay, we have a set of pineapple. Ooh, pineapple salt and pepper shakers. This is an inexpensive little set, I believe, but pineapples is a welcoming sign to welcome people to your home. These would be number 23, and they're $2 for the set. Pineapple, salt and pepper. And they are number 23 for $2. Okay, let's put those ones back. Let's see what this one is here. Okay, these are some cute, cute little quail. A quail set of salt and pepper, oh no, pheasants, these are pheasants. Salt and pepper shakers. And I had $15 in my booth. It's pheasants, salt and pepper shakers. I'll do these for $5, number 24. $5, number 24. five dollars and there they are up close well, you, that tag is not a tag to show that's just my label for my booth and i'm out again and these are by gorham if you look on the bottom, you can see the name on the bottom, really small. It says Gorham on it, and then it says YH327. Then it has an E with an anchor and then a P. And I have not polished these up. These will be number 25, and they'll be $8 for the Gorham. So that's number 25 for $8. Okay, these are so cute right here. It's some little praying children. Ooh. <laughs> it's a set of little praying children. It's a boy and a girl. Her hair is kind of pulled up to the side with a braid. Like I wear mine sometimes, but I don't have bangs. And I had these for 12 in my booth. They're made in Japan. There's a label still on there somewhat. So, and these right here would be $5 today, number 26, for the praying children. $5, number 26, they are white porcelain. Okay, so that's that little bit now. Draw a line down here. 
And I see Donna for those. Thank you, Donna. Okay, so now, now these are really cute too. They're a little bit more than most of them, but they are super cute. And they're, you know, they're Halloween or fall or anytime. But they're by um, Lennox. And I'll start with the little boy. He's being a little mischievous. He is a little devil. He has his little horns. And there you go. I don't know if you can see that, but these are Lennox. This one. And then there is the little girl. She has such a sweet little face. And again, she's Lennox. And this set here is number 27. And they'll be $12 for the set. Lennox. Yeah, they'll be $12, number 27. Okay, so put y'all back in the little box. Oh, let me take these out of the box so I'll know they're sold. Those in the box. What is it? This one here? Who is these? Okay, some more little girls and boy ones. Look at those faces. <laughs> and these are made in Japan as well. And they're like kissing. And these are very nice bis porcelain. They have a number um, H-729 on them. These are about three inches tall. And this is the kind of porcelain, if you hold it up in the light, you can actually like see through it a little bit. This very, very nice porcelain. This is number 28. And they're $8 for the pair. Kissing kids. $8 for the pair. And this is that bis porcelain, so it's not shiny. Okay. Well, I've seen another set right in here. What is these? Oh, okay. These are some like eggplants or something. They're kind of anamorphic. How do you say that word? And these are real old. These are made in Japan as well. They have the original little cork stoppers. And let's turn them slowly so you can see all. So that's number one. And they're on their knees. And this is their hands back here. And this little set is number 28, 29. Number 29 for the eggplants salt and pepper shakers and these will be eight dollars today just eight dollars for those as well okay what is this one looks like i got two more sets in there aren't these adorable it's little dolls or little girl salt and pepper shakers these are little girl salt and pepper shakers. There's no marks. They do have the original corks in them. And these are kind of tall. These are about five inches tall. And this one has blue trim. And it has the P on it for the pepper. And the salt or pepper comes out the tops of their heads. And then here is the little girl one. Well, both girls. This one is pink. There's the S. And it comes out the top of their head. And this set is uh, $8, number, 20, number 30. $8, number 30 for the girls. And let's see what else is in this box. Hi, Patricia. How are you? I'm usually a lurker, but I'm always... Oh, thank you. I do appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. Yeah, I have two. Nope. 
three more sets, four more sets when I stand up and look all the way. Of salt and pepper shakers. Okay, let's see what this these ones are. Okay, we have these little yellow rose salt and pepper shakers. It's a pair of yellow roses. And these are by uh, Norlings, made in Japan. And these are kind of petite, like they might be two and a half inches tall, maybe. No chips, cracks, or anything like that. And this one, no stopper, but you just unscrew the top and you put your salt and pepper in it. And this little set here is $4, number 31. $4, number 31 for the yellow rose. So that's $4, number 31. It has a little gold trim on it. Okay. Hey, Carrie Ann, how are you? Welcome. So we have that set. And the next set we have is kind of whimsical. Look at that fat cat there. And then you have the tall cat here. And these are by T. I cannot read that. I'll see if I hold it close. Maybe you can read that does have a signature on them, but it's a cute set of little cats. One tall and skinny, one short and spout. These are number 32, number 32, and they're $4 for the set. $4, number 32 for this little set of cats. And... I see art. Okay, I have you down there for that. Art for Tori. I think I have your info, Tori, but if you could send it to me to be sure, I think I have it, but I'm not 100%. Then we have this cute little set here. It's a little dog. And then there's a big bone. And the dog is like a glazed porcelain. And the bone is a bis porcelain. Okay, thank you. And this is $2, number 33. For the dog and bone. $2, number 33. $2, number 33 on those. And... Then I have a set of little monkeys. It's two little monkeys. One is like super happy. And he has like a whole bunch of bananas. And this one is scratching his head. He cannot figure it out because he only has one banana. There's no marks. They have their stoppers though. And this set of monkeys. Let's see how much was it in my booth. They were $15 in my booth. $5, number 34, for the little monkeys. Yeah, they're cute little monkeys. This is the back of them. Okay, so now that's everything in those two boxes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get up and I'm going to take my phone with me and I'm going to show you some items on the shelf. And Vicki wants that set. Thank you, Vicki. Because that's what I had in my two boxes that I was going to be showing today. Let me set my monkeys over here so I'll, with the order so I don't pack those up. Um, and I'm going to show you some items on the shelf. And you can let me know if it's something you're interested in. Okay, so now we're going to get up. Hey, how are you, Shanika? Okay, I'm just going to bring them over here. I'm going to grab a handful of things at a time off of the shelf because I'm funny about moving the camera. I'm just not that good at it. Look at this cute, cute little girl here. 
She has her little teddy bear. There's no marks or anything on her, but she's super cute. And then here's a little girl dancing. Okay, so that, you know what, I, I'm going to, y'all, it's going to be shaky because I'm not good at moving the camera around while I'm walking. But hold on, I'm walking slow, so hopefully you don't get too dizzy. And then I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay. Have these wonderful um, Vaseline glass, sherbet glasses like. So they do glow in the dark. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. But you know what? My phone, you know what? Let me set that down right there like that. And that way I can just lift it off and show. But I need to turn my computer around because for some reason, it's not showing comments on my phone today. Okay, so now we can go. We can show. What was I ready to show? Mm -hmm. Here's a nice paperweight. I figure out where the camera is again. A little paperweight. And something like this would probably be like, say, $3. It says friends are special. Okay. I mean, this stuff is not like in order on the shelves. It's something I'm working on getting done. Here's a little porcelain figurine guy. And there's no marks on him or anything. He's, he's sitting there. No, he's not asleep. I thought he was asleep. This is a teeny tiny one here. Look at this teeny tiny little frog. Uh-oh. Right there. He's teeny tiny. It's a little bitty frog. And that would be like $3. That would be $3 if you're interested. You would just put a three in the comments. Let's set him here. Let's see. Here's a little Easter Bunny chick. Uh, Steph. Put that. Let me get the little frog. Set him here. Okay, I have you down for that, Steph. Then we have this little chicky here. Uh, no marks or anything on it, but he wants to be a bunny for Easter. And this little one here would be $3. This would be $3. If you're interested in the little chick. $3. Okay, let me get my pencil right here. I'm always thinking I'm going to remember something, but I better write it down. Okay, thank you. What else do I have on this shelf? Oh, this is cute. Take my little price off. I kind of paid up for this. I can't believe I paid that much for something. Because I try not to pay much for anything when I'm at the thrift store out thrifting. Look at this perfume bottle. Take the price off the back too so you, I can hold my hand so maybe you can see the design on it. It has like a rose etch on there. It has a little atomizer and it does work. And this perfume bottle would be $12. $12. So if you're interested, put 12 in the comments. And it's about, um, I would say it's four inches tall. $12 um, in the comments if you're interested in that. And what else do I have on my shelf here? Um, this beautiful blue vase. This vase is about eight, nine inches tall. It's made in France. I do remember reading that about it. And this little vase would be $8. $8. So if you're interested, put an eight in the comments. What else? Okay. This is something weird, but it's a Coca-Cola bottle. But it's like um kind of like mercury glass or something. 
And it just, I think it says Birmingham, Alabama on the bottom. And this bottle will be just like $5. Okay, I have you down for the vase. Blue vase. Okay, I just put you down for that. Thank you, Joanne, uh, the chick, $3. Okay, let me move that up here and that there so I can keep them separate. I'm out in my studio, Joanne, and we're just kind of going through the shelves. Oh, this is cute. Let's see if I can get it down without breaking it. This holds a tea light candle. This is the shade and it holds a tea light candle. Has little flowers on it. I don't see any chips, cracks or anything. I need to clean it off a little bit. And this is by Home Interior. Eh, what about $6? $6 if you're interested. $6 if you're interested. Have sunflowers and ladybugs and a little watering can. And the light kind of comes out of these little holes on them. So that's $6. Ooh, almost dropped that. That's $6. Let's see what else we have here. This I'm going to be putting online. This little dog here, it is how much for the burlap bucket? Okay, let me get the stuff off top of that. This little dog here, it's by Wales. It's made in Japan. If somebody's interested in this, I'll do it for $20. Thank you very much. And I still have your check, and I just have not gotten around to um, putting it in the mail because I need to buy a stamp. Uh, but I was hoping, being out here cleaning more, that I would come across the rest of your stuff. Okay, so somebody asked about this. This little, um, I guess it's a little ashtray or a little trinket dish. $4. $4 if you're interested, uh, Vintage 55, Vicky. Okay, so I'm just working my way over to the bucket. So $4 in the comment if you're interested in that. Okay. This is some um, lacquered coasters. And it's, how many is in there? Like six, two, two. Four, five, that's an odd number. Oh, it's six. It's six of them in there. And it's by Ota Gary. I see Steph for this brass trinket dish. Okay, let me see if that's what you were talking about. Let me finish with the, uh, excuse the shaking. Okay. This would be like $6 if someone's interested in that. Let me show the bucket and then see if I see what you're talking about. Grass. Let me move this first. This ice bucket here. This, ooh. This is by, uh, what's it called? Serve, serve something, serve. It's the name of this company. This, hey, how are you, um, Evelyn? How are you? Coasters. Okay, let me put that up here on the shelf over here. Coasters. And I need to write a note next to your name so I can send you those other, that little doll I haven't forgotten. <laughs> But this little ice bucket here, this would be $30. Yeah, this I paid up for this because I had the cups and I was planning on selling it as a, I'll do it for you for 20 because I think that's what I paid for was 20 So I'll do this for $20. Yeah, I'll do that for 20 Okay. OK, 
Okay, and let me put the word doll, L-O-L, next to your name. Okay, now, and the one against the breath, against the bucket at the bottom. Hmm, these here, these, and I see precious lavender buttons for the ice bucket. Joanne. I have the picture. See, I had cuffs to go with it. And I'll show you some cuffs I have that's pretty similar. I have these here. You moved it to the shelf above. That, I don't know. Hmm. It might, oh, okay, it might not be brass. This little owl here, this little owl here, this is by somebody that I cannot think of the name, but these, I have this listed right now on Etsy for like $100, I think. And I've gotten a lot of um, people interested, but I have not sold this yet. Um, on here, I would do it for 30. And if you look that symbol up in that name or look at my Etsy store, you can read all the details about this little owl. And I think I have him for like a hundred, this little owl in my Etsy store. And I don't know why I still have that up on the shelf. Yeah, it is, it's very unique. So let me put that there. Let's see. Oh, now this is nice. This is a little five by seven, and it's a picture back there. Then it, this painting is painted on the reverse side of this. It's like a Victorian picture. And it does have a signature on it. It's very, very small in the corner, and I cannot read it. And I don't have my magnifying glass out here. But this little picture here, this would be say $12, $12, and you can just put 12 in the comment. So that would be $12. Okay, what else is over here? Okay, let me go to the next shelf. And I have tons of these Joseph original birthday girls, if anyone is interested. They're not out. But you know the Joseph originals? I have tons of these if you're interested in anyone. And you can see I broke the arm off of one in the wings. That's why, that's why I'm trying to clear out stuff. But I have a lot of them in the box in perfect condition. Here's a little Mary Engelbrecht recipe box. It does have the recipe card separators in it. $3 if you're interested. Put three in the comment. And it's got, it's good to be queen on the, um, on the lid. $3 for the Mary Engelbrecht recipe box. Or you could use it for anything you want, but it is a recipe box. Okay, let's see what this is. Ooh, a nice little trinket dish shaped like a shell. Okay, I see Marcy for that. Marcy. Mary Engelbert recipe box. Okay, I have you, Marcy. Thank you. And this cute little dish here. Um, it's one of those hand-printed projects. This person did it in 1990. Her last name was Watson. $5 for this cute little trinket dish. It's white porcelain with hand-painted hand uh, design on it. Okay, and that would be five. Okay.
then I have another recipe box here. And this one is by um, the original artwork by Pat Rich Richter, which I've showed. And I think I saw, yeah, I did. Mary, uh, Mary bought it. I had these. Uh, are you still? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, you got the Growing Up Girls, I think it was, Joanne. Yeah, these ones are the Joseph Originals. And this one does not have uh, cards or anything in it, but look at the artwork on it. She does a great job. And these are Longenberger baskets that's painted on there. She does a lot of designs and stuff with Longenberger Basket Company. And this would be $3. This would be $3 on this little um, recipe box or box. That would be $3 if someone's interested in that. What else is on this shelf? What is this? Here is a little Kurt Ad Adler Christmas ornament, but it doesn't have to be Christmas. Look how cute. It does not have to be Christmas. It's Kurt Adler. And this would be $5. And you can claim it with five. But she is so adorable, this little girl. Look at her face up close. And this is actually tool fabric here, a little fabric. I see Cheryl for that. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm just going through my shelf. I'm glad to be back out in my studio. She is beautiful. Um, all of the, yes, they are. You talking about these here, Patty? These here? Yes, they are for sale. I have, it's a total of eight, but I would sell them in a set of four because one of them is different if I was to sell them as a set of eight. And I would do these for only like, say, $20 for four if you're interested. $20 for four of these. So you would get, you could get this four for 20. And they would be four identical. So you would just put 20 in the comments if you're interested. And then this set here, you would get three like this. But then you would get one like this. And this would be 15 if you're interested in, um, I tell you, if you want all eight, I'll do all eight for $30. But remember, one is different. Okay, so let me know if you want all eight or just one set. And let me show you the plates that go with that too. Okay, let me show you the plates that go with that. I'll show what's on top of the plates first because I need to get to the plates. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this right here, this is a glass wine stopper. It's a little sailboat. And this sailboat wine stopper, nice long stopper, uh, say $4. $4 if you're interested in that. $4 if you're interested in that. $4 for the glass stopper. Okay, so that's that. Then... This is super cute. I love little teeny things. It's a little corn husk doll inside of a bottle. It's a little ornament. And this whole thing is less than three inches tall. And I'm going to try to show it to you up close. There she is up close. And this would be $3 if you're interested. $3 in the comments. $3 in the comments if you're interested. You'll take all three for thir all of them for 30 Okay. 
Okay, I just put you down for it. So this is cute though, $3 for that. Then on top of that also, the I'm getting to the plates to go with it. Yes, I will. Let me make a note. Okay, I just made a note. This is like a brass enamel ashtray that's all hand painted around here. It's green on the back. You can see the brass right there. This is a pretty, pretty ashtray, but I would use it as a trinket dish, but you can see the little things that hold the cigarettes, but this is way too pretty for some cigarettes. And this would be $6, put in a six if you're interested in this, $6. If you're interested in the little brass ashtray, Steph. Ashtray, Steph. Six dollars. Thank you. Okay, I got one more thing on top of that the plates I'm getting to. This is a beautiful piece of glass. It is a plate. What is this name of this called? I cannot think of the name of it. It's made in France. You can see right there. This is called something. I cannot think of the name. I think it starts with an M. My mind, my mind, my mind. And this is just like the little stilts uh, since it was glazed because you could not set it flat on the shelf without it sticking. And this little plate would be um, $6. $6 for this little plate. No chips. Correct. Is that a chip? No, that's a glaze. Six dollars. <laughs> I always have to laugh at Sharon. <laughs> Sharon, I snuck something in your box. I mailed. Yes, yes, Joanne. That's what it is. Mal yes, Majelica. I put something in your box. I hope you like it. Okay, here are those plates Ugh. of the green plates. I have two, four, six of them. And they do glow in the dark. I mean, where they glow, you know, under light and stuff. It's glowy glass. All six of these plates for $15. $15 for six plates. So you can put a 15 in the comments. So that'll be for six plates. Okay. Set that there. Okay, Patsy. Plates. 15 Patsy. Thank you. I appreciate it. See, this is what I need to do is get my shelves clean. <laughs> Cute little salt shaker. It's just a single. This is like pink down here. It's, I think this is new. I don't think it's depression glass, but it's super cute. I'd say $3. $3 if you're interested in the little salt shaker. It's a real cute color pink. Hey, Micah, Micah. Hey, Lissa. I was going to call to ask you if you wanted to ride the Southern Pines. Oh, this is cute. Can I pull that? Nope, I got to get this off top of there first. This is a little piece of pottery. And it's made right here in Sanford, North Carolina. And this uh, company, DJ DK Pottery Studios in Sanford, North Carolina, it's right next to where I was taking my pottery class. It's less than a half a mile from my house. But look at the colors on that. And this little piece of pottery, $5. $5. $5. Really? It got there that quick? Huh. $5. Alyssa, Sharon was saying how much she enjoyed you when y'all was doing y'all readings and stuff. 
but I was trying to get to this. This is super cute. Look at this. It's like a little, it's not a base really, but look at the little hands and the polish on the nails. Cute little rose. No markings or anything on it. Now, inside of there, which I think it was actually in the glaze because you don't feel it. I don't know if you can be able to see it, but it's like this minute little, it's not a chip, it's not a crack. I don't know what, I think it's in the glaze, but look how cute. The little roses on it. And this is about mm, seven inches tall, maybe. Look at her little bracelet, her fancy ring. And this will be $12, $12 if someone is interested, $12. I just think this is so cute. Oh, okay. I think Jen had one of these the other day. I think it was Jen that had one of these. It's this little pair. It's like a little trinket box. It's still taped together, but this does open. There's no chips, cracks, or anything. It's a little crystal pair. There's no markings or anything on it. And it is like the top and the bottom. Ah, $8. $8 if you're interested. $8 on this little pear trinket dish. Okay. Something else wants to be shown. What is that? Collectible dolls. What is that in that box? Collectible dolls of... Oh, it's Anna Lee. It's Anna Lee birthday. It's like a little birthday cake she's in, she's having. And it's a little mouse. I can open that. Yep. There she is. I need a little birthday present. This is one of the older ones. You can tell by the tag. And this little um, Anna Lee would be $10. $10 if you're interested. Put you back down in your little box. So $10. The Majelica Susie. You want to see that again? Or you were just saying that's what it's called, Majelica. I could not think of the name of this. But yes, it's Majelica. Yeah, these, these pieces are really nice. And I think I had said like ten, eight or ten on it. Eight dollars since I said eight or ten. Okay. And while I was showing pottery that's made here in Sanford, North Carolina, just saying thank you very much. Now, this is a piece that I made in pottery class. <laughs> it's just a little, you could use it like a planner. I did put a hole in it. And I made this in 2021 and say $10, $10 if you're interested in this. Alyssa, are you surprised how clean it is out here? Well, you haven't seen the rest of it, but I'm surprised. <laughs> Let's see what else we see. I'm going to turn the camera around to the other shelf. Oh, let's show this first. Here's a Winnie the Pooh photo album. Nice little gift for someone. I don't know how many pages. It holds four by six pictures, but it's a Pooh album, $5. How much for the metal picnic basket on top of the saucers? Oh, this it's only a part of one. The top is missing off of this. And I know I've had this probably, Alyssa, how long have we had this? Probably, Alyssa's almost, probably 30 years, because I had this when they were in Scouts. If you're interested, $5. It doesn't have a top, but it is very vintage strawberry shortcake. There's the bottom. American Greeting Company. It looked like it says 83 on it. It looked like it's from 1983. 
which probably would be about right. Because like I said, I got that when um, a long time ago. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera angle around a little bit and see what we see on that shelf. Oh, let's, I'm going to flap this down some. Here's a deck of playing cards. I think they all used to be in there if anybody's interested in playing cards. These ones have some golfers on it. One dollar. Uh, Princess, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Okay, let's see. So, Joanne, did you want that? If not, Princess wants it. Pass. Okay, so Princess will get that then. Strawberry shortcake tin, five dollars, princess. Okay, so this is a nice set of playing cards. It's two decks, which I believe they're all in there. I think they were. Yeah, a dollar for some playing cards. Let's see what else is on this shelf here. These are coasters. It's two sets. Um, they're $2 a set. You get four of them, and you have a choice. Looks nice out there. Out where it looks nice is it's raining over here. Okay, they're $2 a set, and you can put blue or you can put beach. Blue or beach. And these are cardboard. And it's four of each design. And you can put beach or you can put uh, blue. Okay, that's those. I just knocked another playing set of cards down. Let's see what this one is. A beautiful, it's just one. Look at this beautiful plate with the lavender on it. It's a little like bread and butter size, but this would look really nice. Um, yes, this would be really nice for um, hanging on the wall. If you have a shabby chic looking room, $2 if you're interested in this plate, $2. Trying to see what else is on this shelf. Here is another... I just knocked something down. $2 for another one of the Vasily. I mean, $2. I'm still thinking this saying $2. Uh, yes, I have it right here. I just passed it up. I didn't know if anyone would be interested. I'll show it to you. Some Peter Rabbit. Uh, this one single plate, $3 for a single Vaseline glass plate, $3. Seems like I'm knocking something else down. Okay, there we go. I am knocking something down. What am I leaning into? Oh, okay. Since this is falling down, I'll show this. This is like a little stand. It's for the 4th of July, the land of the free and home of the brave. It's like from Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99. A dollar. If anyone is interested, a dollar. Has a little stand on it. And it is wood. One dollar. If anyone is interested, Peter Rabbit. Okay, I have this cup. Actually, I have like a whole box of nothing but Peter Rabbit down here boxed up. Evidently, I must have a Oh, these not a set. Yes, it is. These two pieces, if you're interested, ten dollars. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, ten dollars on these two Peter Rabbit pieces here. And evidently, I had a plate because it says on there. This is actually this is Bunnykin. I'm sorry. This is Bunnykin, not Peter Rabbit. Because evidently I had three pieces of it. But I will show you some Peter Rabbit. 
So did you still want the bunny can join? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of it and it's in copy that box right there. Probably in that box. Oh, this is something that's cute. A little paperweight. It has an apple inside. It's very intricate looking when you're looking at that. And this paperweight here, $2.00 the paperweight it has an apple inside let me try to turn it up for you to see the apple you see how dimensional that apple is in there two dollars for the apple i'm just knocking stuff down another little trinket dish ashtray is actually an ashtray because i see the little thingies right there it's made in Japan. You know what I have, Joanne? I have a Peter Rabbit quilt, bumper pads, diaper stacker, and another piece. I'll take a picture of it when I go in the house and send it to you. And this little trinket dish, ashtray, $3.00. Three dollars for this here. It's a white porcelain. It's trimmed with gold. It's made in Japan. Steph. Okay. Hands. Three dollars, Steph. Okay, I have you down for that. Okay, let's see what else is on this little shelf here. Now, this is cute. I have to see if I see the uh, other part to it, though. It has the ink pen. The ink pen is gold. This is an old uh, notepad, and you can replace the notepad in there. You can see how yellow the Manila pages has turned. And I do have the pen. I'm quite sure it's right there. And this is painted on silk. And I think this is called like the King, I forgot, King something, Drunk King or something like that. And this set here would be $6. $6, you'll get the pen and you'll get the notepad. I'm quite sure the pen is right here. Hey, Sally, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so that would be $6. What is this? Very dainty. It's a little trinket box. It's kind of a green color, have little gold feet on it. Take this part out of the bag. And it has a little, um, like a little cherub, a little angel on top. $6 for this little trinket box. There's no marks or anything on it. I believe it might be handmade. It might be a hobbyist piece. Not sure, but that's $6 for that. Put that back in there very carefully because I don't want to break it. Because those flowers are so delicate on stuff like that. What else is on this shelf? What is this? Oh, I haven't seen this in so long. I took a class when I went out to um, San Francisco with, uh, I forgot the name of the lady. The lady's name was Ann something. This is so cute, though. Hopefully, I can open it. So, the one we made in class was big, but the one I came home and made is little. Hold on, I'm trying to get it open. Trying to protect her. 
I bet her leg is going to be broken. Yep. Yeah. But I can glue that back together. Look how cute that is. I need to make some more of these. Yeah, her leg, this leg here is broken. But I made this at least eight years ago. <laughs> I love these. I need to do more of that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to pull one more thing off of this shelf here. This little candle dish. It's a candle holder. And this is a spode. This is by Spode. It holds a single candle. I happen to have a candle right there. And it has little lilies of the valley on it. I think that's what kind of flower that is. Yeah, it's polymer clay. Yeah, and I have a whole thing of polymer clay I found when I was cleaning up. So I'm hoping it should still should be good. And this candle holder right here is a Spode candle holder. $10. If you're interested, put in 10 in the comments. 10. Okay, now that's everything on that sh on this little extra piece right here. It's not really a shell. Lord only knows what's under this little white thing here. But let me see if I see that uh, Peter Rabbit right here. I think it's this one. It's either in the one or the two box. Glasses. I thought I put the initials on the box. Let me look this side here and see. What does that say on there? Glasses is not that one, so it must be this one. Let me peep in here and see if it is in this box right here. Oh, this is cute. This is on top of the box, so I'll show it. This is a tin with fairies. I think note cards are in it. The doll is made out of polymer clay. Yes, it's polymer clay. Yeah, it has note cards in this little box. I don't know why I bought this really. It has cute little envelopes. Look at the envelopes. And there are, how many cards are in here? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Look like about seven cards. But look at the artwork on each one. And then they have matching envelopes. And let's say eight dollars if you're interested in this tin with the. Uh, it's more than eight envelopes in it though. And then I think it's that. And then, oh, here's the story of the artist right here on the back side of there. Might be on the back of each one of the cards. Let me see. Yes. $8. And I see Marcy for that. Okay. Marcy, $8. Okay, I'm trying to get down to the box. This is the last thing on top of it. Um, it's a little um, Holly Hobby. The time to be happy is now. So cute. And it did, I guess, at one time have an easel on it. I think somebody added that. But anyway, it did have an easel at one time or another on the back. And it just says a time to be happy. It's about probably a six by seven because it's wider than five. Really cute. Three dollars, Holly Hobby. Three dollars. Okay, now let me look up under here and see if this is the Peter Rabbit. Let's see here. <laughs> this is funny. Steph. Holly Hobby. Thank you, Steph. I appreciate it. This is funny. And you know what? I actually sold a bunch of these in my booth. There are some vintage powder puffs. And they came from Drug Emporium. 
So if anybody's interested, $3 for both of them. <laughs> if nothing else, the um, one is a body puff. This large one says body and this one says face. If nothing else, the vintage is, I mean, the uh, wants the fairy book. Me, me, me. Okay, hold on. Let me scan up the fairy box. Hold on. Let me scan up. I was thinking Marcy got that. Yeah, Marcy claimed that. Yeah, Marcy claimed that. Oh, and if y'all get a chance, if you have not, please go over and sub to I Spy Queen's channel. She's at like 900 and last night she was at 931. She's trying to get to a thousand. That's glasses. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is that Peter Rabbit? Nope. either okay so while we're looking on this one let's look at what's here and see what this is uh, this is a paper making kit i may want that but i better keep that <laughs> okay, here's a really cute plate Still in the original box. The certificate is here. It's Childhood and Remembrance by June Amos Grammer from 1991. Somebody's interested? Uh, how about $3? $3. There's the box. It does have the writing on it. That's what I pay. I pay $2 for it myself, but $3. Marcy, if ever, okay, I can do that. I can switch it. Okay, so instead of Marcy, put Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, I have you down for it. And I'll probably be invoicing either later today or the first thing tomorrow. Here is a tin with some irises on it. It's an older tin. Look at the back of it. Shows a lot of wear. $3 for this tin if someone is interested. $3 if someone is interested in this tin. It's an older tin. I'm looking at some of this stuff like I've never seen it. I just wrapped some of this stuff up like last week in the midst of cleaning. But some of it I have not seen in a very long time. <laughs> I bet it's right here. Let's see what this is. Okay. I think it might be in this box here. Okay, I have this here. This is a cutting board. And this is like, um, this cutting board was special for some reason, but I cannot remember. I, I researched this stuff a long time ago when I bought it. There's a little label on the back. And I believe it's made in Holland. Handcrafted in, can't say the name of the place. $6 if someone is interested. $6. Ooh, then this is a pretty hand painted tile here. It's a big tile. This is probably about a 10 by 8. This was painted in 1984 by Isabel Littles, I believe is the signature on it. But look at that. And that'll be $4. Put a number four if you're interested. Okay. <laughs> a pair of vintage pantyhose 
four dollars Joanne on that tile four dollars Joanne Okay, here goes some vintage pantyhose. I used to sell a lot of pantyhose on eBay when I would find them. Well, I say pantyhose nylons, seamless. These are some seamless nylons. $3. If nothing else, the packaging is cool. $3. And then we have some vintage. Now, these ones are... No, these are some high stock, high top stockings. These were from Sears. There were some cling-alongs. $3 on those. The 10, how much? Which one? Um, what did I do with it? You talking about the one with the iris on it? I have stuck that somewhere. I don't know where I stuck it at. I heard it before. Yeah. Um, I think I had said three dollars on it, but I don't know what I done with it. This is a nice <laughs> if y'all check out Evelyn's channel, she does a lot of little pixies and fairies and gnomes and um one of a kind art and stuff this one is the um they're like little uh what are those little people called they're made in germany did not think of the name of them i told you my mind is going today anyway this little plaque here if someone is interested three dollars as well three dollars Children live what, uh, what they learn, which is really, really a pretty saying on this one. $3. Hummels. Yes, Marcy. Thank you. <laughs> I told you my mind is shot today. I've been working so much out here. Okay, then we have this little fish. It's just a hand-painted fish. And this is a hand-painted in Mexico. Three dollars if someone is interested. Purple tin. Okay, let me see if I can find what I did with it. Three dollars on the little fish if someone is interested. Let's see. What did I do with it? It had to be close because I haven't moved out of this corner. But I think I had said three dollars on it. I tell you, it disappeared. It's not there. But it was $3. Fish Patsy. Okay, I have you down for the fish. I'm still looking to see what I did with that tin because I do not know. Okay, I'm looking to see. I mean, I have not moved out of this corner. It was $3, though, if you're interested. I'm still looking for it. I just don't know where I, I, I tucked it somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Who bought the, um, somebody bought some salt and pepper shakers early? Okay. Joanne, you put $3. Is that for the iris tin? The tin that had that iris painted on it? Yes, Susie, the $3, the 10 is $3. So I'm waiting on Joanne to see if um, she's talking. Yes. Th okay, $3, Susie, for the 10. Okay. 10, $3. Susie. Okay. No fish. Oh, okay, the fish. Uh, Patsy got the fish. Patsy got the fish. Okay, Susie, I have you down for the 10. Somebody bought the cats to match this earlier. 
same signature on it. And these were the salt and pepper shakers that went that goes with something like this. So if somebody's interested, this is just a little trinket dish, or you could hang it on the wall. It does have a hanger on it. And this little, um, I think this is actually a little dog here. Five dollars behind you. Oh, hold on. I got another one. Hold on. Let me show you that one. Five dollars for this. right there now i do have this tin here but this is not the one i showed earlier this is a christmas tin here this is a christmas one here it would be three dollars as well and this one was made in england but this is a christmas tin I tell you, that is a mystery on that tin. What happened to it? Because it has to be within arm's reach right in here. But I have it. Then I have these little cats here. This is probably Laura Birch. It looks a lot like hers. It's two little cats. Four dollars. <laughs> It's right in, it's, believe me, it's right in front of me someplace. So $4 on the little cats, if someone's interested. Okay. Uh, Joanne. Laura Birch cat. Oh, yep. This is the box, Joanne. Peter Rabbit. Lots of Peter Rabbit stuff. So what I'm going to do is set it out. Let me clear off the space. And I'm going to set it out because it's so much of it. And this way you can look at it and let me know which pieces you want. Move that. Move this down to this shelf move her down to this shelf move her hand because eventually i am going to glue that back on okay so there i'm gonna turn close i'm gonna have to go get my battery i mean go get my um i'm gonna have to walk in the house to get my um what to think charger because i'm running low on energy on my my phone is running low on energy so let me i'll be right back i need to walk in the house oh, 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 it's raining it's raining it's raining it was just a sprinkle oh, i'm running to get my charger in the house real quick i think i got it in here let me get my charger Here's my charger right here. You know what? I, when I think about it, I'm surprised it lasted this long because I did not charge my phone last night. So I'm really surprised that it lasted this long. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to take these. I'm going to show y'all these. These are really pretty. I just picked these up at the thrift store the other day. Okay. I'm so, look at my daffodils, y'all. Look at all those, da look over, I don't know if you can see them. They're way over there, a bunch of daffodils. So they're blooming all over. Okay. <laughs> Back inside now. And plug my phone in. Huh. I think the temperature's dropping outside a little bit. Okay. Let's plug my phone in. That's that side and this. Okay, where's the plug at on this side? Okay, so now that should give me some juice for a while. 
And I am going to set the Peter Rabbit stuff right up on that shelf right there, Joanne, as I, so I have this cup. Should have done it on that other shelf. Hold on, let me let raise my phone up just a little bit. So you can see the stuff on that shelf where I'm gonna be putting it. Okay, there you go. It needs to be a little higher. Okay. There's one. There's another cup, but I got cups, plates, and everything. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so that. What is this? Oh, that's a deck. These are really pretty, though, y'all. This is a deck of playing cards. It's two decks of playing cards. But I have those listed on Etsy already. And it's by this artist here, whoever that is. Anyway, they, they're quite pricey. Rabbit. Here's a Peter Rabbit light switch cover. Hey, Linda. I am in my studio cleaning and I'm going through boxes. There's a uh, Peter Rabbit light switch cover. So just let me know if you see. I need to read about all the characters. Oh, okay. Here is a... came tumbling down. That scared me. Undo. Cancel. Cancel. I hit, I laid the uh, thing on top of the cord <laughs> and my phone came tumbling down. And now it doesn't want to stay up. That's not something you can do. Okay, and here is some Peter Rabbit This is a set, a three-piece set. This one here. The matching bowl. And it has a matching cup as well. So that's a three-piece set on that Peter Rabbit set there. Ouch, I hit my head. Be careful. Oh, I am. <laughs> How much is the light switch cover? Uh, what about $4? $4 on the light switch cover. $4 on the light. Hey, Kathy, how are you? And you know what? I set this right on top of my notebook when I set this back down. So it would be $4 on the light switch cover, Joanne. And what I'll do before I leave, y'all, I'll give, for everybody who just kind of came in, I'll give you a tour. Peter Rabbit. Let's cover. $4, Joanne. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just ready to clear out some of this stuff. What is this, Peter Rabbit? Okay, now this is, let me take this piece out first. Here is a Peter Rabbit uh, photo album. The Tale of Peter Rabbit. It's a new photo album book. It also has all the records and everything in it. And I would do that for like, <laughs> I don't know how much I paid for it. It was $26 at Belk, which is ancient ago. Uh, I would do $8 on the photo album, eight. trying to get the I got a whole stack of Peter Rabbit plates right here I think they're all Peter Rabbit let's see here okay Joanne I have you yep Peter Rabbit plate 
little bit of light switch cover over here with the soles. And another, thank you, uh, Anitra. Oh, this isn't Peter Rabbit, but I have the, it's like milk glass and I have the whole set of this. And I'll lay it aside till if I see the cup in this box. This one's not Peter Rabbit either. This is another set. This is Tony the Tiger and it has a big cup to go with that. Okay, but this is Peter Rabbit here. Another Peter Rabbit. No, that's Bunnykins. A Bunnykins plate. This isn't Peter Rabbit, but it's in the box, so I'll show this if someone is interested. Look at these two. This is, uh, and these are 10. These are 10. T-I-N-10. So it's that one and this one. So it's a set of two plates. Somebody's interested. I'll do both of those for $10 if you're interested. It's about an eight inch plate. And there's the logo, the name and stuff on the back. Okay, I got some more Peter Rabbit plates coming up. Uh, this is a bunnykin plate. And this is, which one is this? Another bunnykin's plate. Let's see what this is. A Peter Rabbit bowl. A Peter Rabbit bowl. Oh, this is a um, a Yardro bell. Is it two of them or one in here? One. This is a collector Yardro bell from 1987. 1987. If anyone is interested, how do you set up these dishes? <laughs> I don't. I just collect them. And I've been collecting them for years. And if you remember my booth at, um, I used to be at the same antique mall that Joanne is at. You know how much Peter Rabbit stuff I had in there. Here's a Bunnykins bowl, one of the heavy cereal bowls. So all I do is just collect the stuff. Oh, here is the cup that went to that plate that I showed you earlier, the milk glass plate. Yeah, so that's the cup that go with that. But, you know, if you were having like a luncheon joint, if you spread these out, or they'd be great for a baby shower and then let the mom have all of the pieces. Or let each one of the people take a piece home. Look at this is pretty. Look at that. that I have that listed on eBay. Yes, it's very cute. <laughs> Yeah, I'm giving up my, uh, I'm giving, I, well, I gave up my booth at San Fran Antique Mall. I need to have everything out this week. Here's the cup that go with the Tony the Tiger plate that I showed. How much for the milk glass set? Uh, the milk glass set. Mm -hmm. Did I pay? I 
I guess my phone is set up with this emergency call thing. This is a new phone and I'm not. Cancel it. Okay, let's see if it'll take it off this time. It keeps saying emergency call. Yeah, I don't know. My phone dropped and it said it was an emergency call. They was calling 911 to hold my finger if I wanted them to call and I kept putting cancel. Um, $12 for the set, Joanne. $12 for the set. So it'd be for the plate in the cup, $12. Tony the Tiger, I'll do it for $12 too, either one. $12 for the set for Joanne. Okay, so that would be for that set for Joanne, $12. And Tony the Tiger would be $12 as well, Marcy. The white milk glass. Thank you, uh, Anitra. I appreciate that. Okay, what else do I have in this box that is here? Here is a mug that's Peter Rabbit. No, this is Bunnykin. This is Bunnykin's. That's Bunnykins. Where is, uh, what is this one? What is this? What is this? I want the, okay. I will put you down for that. With Easter coming, I don't know how many people do fancy, fancy. Okay, Anitra, I have you down. I have a set of four of these little egg cups. They're really cute. They're made by, I want to say they're Inslee. It's called Sweetheart Rose. They're made in England. Notice Shafford, that word in England that I never can say. But it's a set of four. I think one of them have a chip on it. But I have a set of four of those. And I'll do all four of them because I know one have a chip on the base. So if somebody's interested, $5 for the whole set, which is a steal because I think these, I had them listed for a lot on Etsy. They're very dainty, dainty. Yeah. This one has the little chip. Well, it's not a chip. It is a, actually a, you can see right there. It fell off the shelf when I was moving this stuff around. But I'll do $5 for a set of four of these. They're really nice if you do all that fancy stuff for the holiday, you know, for Easter. Next precious moment. That's that might be all that's in this box. If that's another one of those. That's Holly Hobby. I think that's. Let me. See, let me I think that's all that's in this box. That is uh, Peter Rabbit. Everything else in there looks like it's Holly Hobby. Yeah. So everything else looks like Holly Hobby. But the last two things I'm going to show. Since I brought them out here, look at this beautiful vase. It's a swung vase. And this one is by um, Viking. Still have the label on it. It's Viking. And it's the satin glass. It is so pretty. And I'll do this one for 20. Do you have any egg plates? I'll show you one. I think it's an egg plate right there. I'll look. So I'll do this for 20 if anyone wants this one. And then I have this other 
cute cake stands. I do, but I don't think they're out here. I do. I think they're packed up in the house. Look at this one here and look at the base of it. Can you see those flowers down there? I mean, swans, excuse me. Those are swans around the base of that one. And I'm not sure who this who this is by. Some people had Fenton. Some people had this. Um, but these are really nice swung vases. And I'll do this one for 20. So it would be a choice of either one. These are really pretty swung vases. Okay. Egg dish. Let's see if that's what that is. Nope, that's not an egg dish. That's a spoon breast. I have a spoon breast that looked like an egg dish. But I do have a fancy egg dish, Joanne, somewhere. I don't know if it's out here or is this Peter Rabbit right here? Let me see if this is Peter Rabbit. Because I have another box full of stuff with Peter Rabbit in it. Here is some Peter Rabbit napkins. Some Peter Rabbit napkins. $2 if you want some Peter Rabbit napkins. And these were from Hallmark. Peter Rabbit napkins, $2. Yeah, I'm going to, because, yeah, because I'm going to go in the house and eat some dinner, some lunch. I was just trying to peep through here and see what I had right here handy. I have a, a right here on this shelf here. Lots of gloves. $2, Joanne, for the napkins. Okay, I'll put that in your pile. A lot of fancy lady napkins. I mean, napkins. Gloves. This peach color. A pair of black ones. Some leather. Very nice, smooth leather. And a pair of long white ones. And I usually sell my gloves for like 15. But what I'll do is on the gloves, I'll do $5 a pair. I'll do $5 a pair. Because I'm really trying to clear out some stuff to make room. So $5 a pair on the gloves. If anyone's interested. $5 a pair. I was looking right here because I believe I have a bunch of Peter Rabbit on this shelf. Oh yeah, I think I think some of these are Peter Rabbit. Did the egg cup sell? No, they did not. Egg cups. And they were $5. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Okay, how many did you want, Joanne? Let me know how many gloves you wanted. Let's see. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. Let me see what these precious moments or Peter Rabbit. Y'all remember these right here? Okay, how many left? I think that's all I have is about five pair right there. Yeah, I had five pair. Okay, okay, so I had five pair. Okay, I have you down for it. Y'all remember these used to be so popular in children's rooms? I thought these were Peter Rabbit, but most of these are precious moments in those little praying children. Yeah. So, but I'll do this again because this helps me clear off my shelves. And um, hopefully next week I'll be a little bit more organized in this. 
But um, I appreciate it so much. I really do. I know my phone's kind of crooked. When it fell, it kind of knocked bent the stand or whatever the second time. <laughs> and uh, if Linda's still here, home interior tea light. Okay, this one here. Shanique with this one right here. I think that was it. Yes. Okay, I'll put your name on that. Home interior. Tea light. Yes, okay, I have it down. Um, for that set, it's a bunch of pieces to that, Joanne. It's got like the moon. It's got the two children. It has some doves. This boy, the dove. This angel. A dove. Hold on, let me take this down. And they're all in overall, considering they're cardboard, they're in really good condition. There's the little girl. I want you to see what's all in the set. Here's another bird. And another bird. Go with that. No, I think that go with the precious moment one. Let's see if this goes. Let me see. I see another set, so let me see if that go with that or not. Oh, yeah. No, I have another set. This the cow jumped over the moon and stuff. The nursery rhyme set. I'll do the praying kids for ten dollars. I do, Linda, but my dolls, I'll show you the other side of the room and I'll bring them on Tuesday night. So for the little cardboard cutouts, it'd be $10 if you're interested in that. Okay. Wall decor, $10. Okay. So ten. I have you join in for that. But Linda, um, let me show you over on the other side of the room. I don't know if you can see it. But see all those dolls over there I need to go through? And I know they're all, there's all kinds of dolls over there. Okay, let me come out of my corner here. Ugh. That's why my phone kept falling because I had stuff sitting on top of the cord. Okay, let's, see, let's walk over here. See all of these dolls, Linda, that I need to finish going through? And that's my job for Sunday and Monday is to finish going through those. And I know it's a lot of island dolls, not a lot, but some island dolls over there. And then also in that corner right there. And then back there. I know none is there because I have kind of those are cabbage patches and big dolls over there. But that's this is my little world job. What I where I be out here in my shop, in my heaven when it's clean. When it's not clean, uh, when it's not clean, I don't know. Is there cups? Yes. All of those, Joanne. It's not the ceiling, it has a loft, which I didn't show y'all up there. But see, all of those are cups all the way along that row. Then on the reverse side is cups. And then on this side is more mugs and cups. On this side is more mugs and cups. And then back there is more And over on that side. I know I have a problem. But I love mugs and stuff. I really do. Yeah, but that's how I kind of store all of those mugs and stuff. So that's why I know I've been saying for like a couple of months that I'm trying to get it clean. Um, and so I've been, instead of just like I normally do, is just box it up and forget it and call it clean. 
I've been going through my boxes as I'm taking stuff out. So like over on that side right there, I don't know if I'm pointing it in the right direction. You can see in my craft corner, I have organized all of that stuff and labeled a lot of that. So I do have that. Oh my God. <laughs> I need diaper or bottom underwear. Oh, okay. Let me write a note. Let me write a note because if I don't, Shaniqua, diaper or underwear for your cabbage patch. Okay, you got one of the little smaller size. Yeah, but I still got a long way to go. So that's why when Kathy said last night about fun, I'm going like, I don't know about that. Underwear for cabbage patch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm still working, Joanne. I'm still working. And when I finish, I know I told you I come over after. Um, that's the problem. This broke when it fell. Okay. Um, I know I told you I'd come over and help you some when I finished up my cruise right after the first of the year. But then I started this. And this has just been like overwhelming to me. But I am determined to get it done. So every day I've been coming out here a couple hours a day and working out here. So again, y'all, thanks so, so much. I do appreciate it. I sure will. I sure will. Uh, as I'm getting these other boxes done, and oh, because y'all didn't see those bottom shelves there, I still got two or three more shelves down there that I need to organize and go through. And then we will have another sale. Actually, next Saturday, no, next Saturday, I will not have a sale. I'll be in Asheville. I'm going to a doll show in Asheville, North Carolina next week. So I won't have a sale. So thank you so much. I appreciate y'all coming. See y'all later. Bye-bye. See you later. And right there on this phone. And.